And over the march, to the match that was played earlier today, Choi Shonghun's extra time header earned Korea Republic a 1-0 victory over Nigeria in a tense FIFA on the 20 World Cup quarterfinal. The Tiger Warriors will now face Italy on Thursday for a place in the final. The Flying Eagles had the better of the play during the first 90 minutes but struggled to create any meaningful opportunities against a resilient defence. Victor Ihua Eletu had the best of them following a Jenkins dribble, but his shot was tipped round the post by Kim Jong Ho. In extra time, it went with Korea Republic making the breakthrough via a corner. Lee Seong Wong delivered one of his low quick crosses, and Choi cleverly headed it backwards up and over goalkeeper Kingsley Anyagboso and into the net. Korea Republic will now strive to reach the final in back to back editions of this competition. We have our sports analyst, Modashiro Shutu, who has been following the tournament to give us an assessment on the Flying Eagles. Modashiro, good evening. Yeah, good evening, um, Ifain. I know you've been following this match. Quick one, we really don't have time. You've been following this tournament. How would you describe today's play the, on the 20 boys, the Flying Eagles? How was the performance today for you? Yeah, I think the performance is that the... Thank you very much, If I we, we did so well in terms of um, ball play and all that. But, you know, in football, goal is the only difference um, that, it, that, that differentiates a good team and a bad team. Both teams played very, very well. And I'm sure the lads um, held on to Landa Boso's um, tactics throughout the um, tournament. But unfortunately, they couldn't finish with goal. And um, this is the second game in this tournament that they did not score a goal. So I think um, they did so well, but fortunately, the goals did not come in. Even the South um, Koreans had it very difficult for, on their own side to score a goal until the first half of the extra time. So in football, uh, let's not forget, they really gave us so much hope after defeating Argentina. And um, we came out from the group where we have Argentina, and we have the Brazilians, we have Italians, and I think it was a good performance. Unfortunately, no goals. What did Landon Bozo, how did he get it wrong, knowing fully how they struggled to score going their first uh, uh, game in this tournament? And I do think this team had a wonderful tournament. And what does the future hold for these young lads, talking about the Landon Bozo uh, boys? Yeah, um, Tom, they, they, they had a wonderful tournament. The highlight of it is the very fact that they defeated Argentina. Argentina is six times record holder of this tournament and um, on that highlight is or to console ourselves is that the Brazilian are out and they have been defeated they are defeated by the Israeli so I think um, it's a very good tournament regardless but um, the low part of it is that we did not go past our target you know in 2005 we had the likes of Nikkei Obi, Tai Taiwo and the rest of them they got to the final and they lost to Argentina. Let's not forget in 1985 or 86 right now, we also got to the to the to the to the final. So to me, um, we did so well. Unfortunately, football being what it is, and the future for the boys is that we hope to see some of this lad um, in like Bamayi, the rest of them um, in the Super Eagles because the last time we had under 20, most of them in the Super Eagles was the, the set of Mikel Obi, where we have Obasi, we have Tai Taiwo, Mikel Obi, and um, the rest of them. Majority of them went to the Super Eagles. Perhaps we'll see that these guys can make a crop of the, um, of the Super Eagles. Apart from the Super Eagles, some of them will go back to their clubs. Some of them came from clubs like um, 33 Lions, clubs like NASA United, clubs like um, Casina United. And there's a certain guy also that came, a certain player that came from Borgia. So, uh, but the good news is that we have the goalkeeper. Some are saying reports have it that um, you'll probably be landing a contract job, so um, a professional career for himself. So some of these players will be going to um, well-known clubs. Some of them will have to come back home. Some of them, it will take them years before they get to where the desired club should be. But by and large, it's an interesting tournament for this lad. Thank you so much, Modashiro. We really don't have time. Probably would have delved more into that, but thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Fai. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.